Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If that is something that you are interested in, subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch me. Our latest upload. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help to know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, nurses, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody! Isang panibagong lecture nga ang alay ko sa nursing lecture ang alay ko sa inyo for today. Now, this has been a while since the last time I actually uploaded an entry sa ating nursing theories playlist, your ultimate guide to nursing theory. Um... It's been a while since the last time I actually uploaded uh, a video regarding that playlist. Uh, as you all know, I have a lot of playlists on my channel related to nursing education. So I highly suggest for you to check the one that applies to you or if you have time and if you really, really, really want to learn more about nursing, um, to brush up your knowledge about nursing, watch all my nursing um, educational vid uh, videos because I really took time to study to uh, um, make the presentation all for you guys. Now, if you haven't seen the other nursing theories videos I created on my channel, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out anytime on this video. Click the one out because I'll be uh, putting the actual playlist there, including some of my playlist in nursing education. Now, this is your ultimate guide to nursing theorists and their theorists. Now, kung gusto mo, actually, ang, my plan is to upload every time that we do like this. I'm gonna like introduce you to five nursing theorists. Uh, theorists. Uh, every video. Kasi ang, ang dami kaya nating theorists sa nursing. Ang hirap naman sa isang video lang sila. Baka bukas pa tayo matapos. Okay, next year pa tayo matapos. So, iisa-isahin natin sila. But, um, in addition to that, if you want us to have a deeper dive on their theories, mawa, uh, ito si Florence Nightingale, which is going to be part of our discussion for today. If you want us to have a thorough, deep dive on her theory, uh, please make sure that you put that um, a comment or you put your suggestions on the comment section below because wala kayong idea how much I read your comments. I may not reply to all of them, to all of you guys, but I just want you to know that your suggestions and your comments I highly is highly appreciated on this channel. By the way, this content that I'm doing is all for you. So whatever works for you, whatever would help you on your nursing study, um, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. And before I further proceed, I would just like to actually thank you who's watching right now, who's listening right now to my channel for uh, keep on supporting me. And we've been really, really growing. And you guys are amazing. Um... I know that I'm helping you, but in some way, the gratification and the the support that I'm getting from all of you guys, it's just all worth it. Um, I've been really, really struggling lately regarding my schedule, but I made this commitment to you guys to upload three videos in a week. So yeah, that's what I'm, um, I'm keeping my promise here. You know what I mean? Yes. And also I would just like to announce that late this year or early this, uh, next year, I'm going to, um, uh, launch my, uh, Spotify, I'm not Spotify, but my podcast channel. I wish you guys can support me. I still have no idea on what is the title or the, yeah, the title of the podcast. Um, I know that uh, there's two things that I know. It's going to be available to all of the music uh, uh, streaming platforms that we have. Spotify, um, Google Music, or YouTube Music. I don't know. And uh, the intention of the podcast is really to promote um, or to increase awareness about mental health. Uh, promotion, uh, you know, talking about spirituality, um, 
uh, soul, uh, you know, really meeting that highest and truest expression of yourself. And that's the vision and the mission of the, the podcast that I'm going to be creating. And I'm hoping that you guys can support me there. And don't worry because I'll be, I'll be letting you know anytime that the podcast is out. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hopefully it's going to be successful. Uh, yeah. So like you see on the title, this is another, your ultimate guide to nursing theories and theorists, your ultimate nursing study guide. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. All right. So first up, of course, the mother of the, all the mother of nursing, Florence Nightingale. Mm, so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Iisa-isahin natin yung mga, this is actually just a brief summary of the nursing theorists and their theory, okay? But like I said on the intro earlier, if you want me to have a video specifically like a deep dive of each of their theory per theorists, you let me know in the comment section below because it's going to be another topic, another, another, uh, what's this, another video. All right, so five nursing theories, and the first one is Florence Nightingale. So, ano bang ginawa nito ni Florence Nightingale? Ito siya si ating mama, the founder of modern nursing and pioneer of the environmental theory. So, when you think about Florence Nightingale, you think about environmental theory. Next, I defined nursing as the act of utilizing the environment of the patient to assist him in his recovery. Kaya nga yung sterile technique, yung maintaining the cleanliness of the bedside, um, is part of actually the theory of Florence Nightingale. So, yun yun. Next, stated that nursing ought to signify the proper use of fresh air, light, warmth, cleanliness quiet and the proper selection and administration of diet all of uh, all at least at the least expense a vital power to the patient she also said or she identified five env uh, environmental factors fresh air pure water efficient drainage cleanliness or sanitation and light or direct sunlight once again this is florence nightingale all right, next up we have your Hildegard E. Peplau. Peplau. I probably butchered her name, but the name is spelled in the screen, so that's how you spell it. I also tried to, you know, put in their picture because I feel like as a visual learner like me, their, the, the knowledge sticks more when I see who is this person. So this is Hildegard Peplau, and she said uh, she pioneered the theory of interpersonal relationships. Peplau's theory defined nursing as an interpersonal process of therapeutic interactions between an individual who is sick or in need of health services and a nurse specifically or specially educated to recognize, respond to the need for help. Her work is influenced by Henry Stack, Sullivan, Percival Simons, and Abraham Maslow. Um, Maslow hierarchy, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and Neil Eldegar Miller. It helps nurses and healthcare providers develop more theoretical interventions in the clinical setting. So this is the work of Hildegard Peplow in a brief summarized form. Alright, malino ba yun? Malina, nakakadalawa na tayo ha? Last three theorists for today's video. We have Virginia Henderson. Di ba ang ni Mare mong Virginia? Eto siya. Sabi ni Virginia Henderson, she actually developed the nursing need theory. So when you think about nursing need theory, it, if it's mentioned, automatically you will know that um, the one who developed it is Virginia Henderson. And then she focuses on the importance of increasing the patient's independence to hasten their progress in the hospital. 
She emphasizes the basic human needs and how nurses can assist in meeting those needs. She also said the nurse is expected to carry out a physician's therapeutic plan, but individualized care is the result of the nurse's creativity in planning for care. Nursing is an art because it's full of creative stuff. That's Virginia Henderson. So once again, this is a brief summarization of Atemo Virginia Henderson's theory. If you want a thorough deep dive of her theory, let me know in the comment section below. Next, we have Faye Glenn Abdella. So ano kaya to si Faye Glenn Abdella? Di ba parang ang tapang-tapang na itsura niya, ha? Tara, di ba? America. Obviously, taga America siya. But she developed the 21 nursing problems theory. So when you think, kapag nasabing... Uh, 21 Nursing Problems Theory automatically si Maring Faye Glenn Abdella. Alright? Now, according to her, nursing is based on an art and science that molds the attitudes, intellectual, competencies, and technical skills of the individual nurse into the desire and ability to help people sick or well cope with their health needs. That is, according to Clay, uh, Faye Glenn Abdella. Now, change the focus of nursing from disease-centered to patient-centered and began to include families and the elderly in nursing care. No, so when you think about the concept of patient-centered care, the one who pioneered to that and bring out the thought of uh, that concept is Faye Glenn Abdella. Alright? Kaya, uh, ngayon sa ating sa nursing, mapapansin mo, hindi na siya disease-centered. It talks more about the patient. Not just the patient alone, but the entire family. Naalala mo, kapag may sakit ang isang member ng pamilya, hindi lang naman sa mga nagbawar dyan. Minsan, pasyente mo isa lang. Pero, pag pumasok ko sa kwarto, lalo na private room, dala-dala mo, pasyente mo yung buong angkan. O, di ba? Nakarelate ka. Because that is true. It's not just patient-centered. It includes families and elderly in the nursing care. That's Faye Glenn Abdella. Now, the nursing model is intended to guide care in the hospital institutions, but can also be applied to community health nursing as well. Kaya naman, hindi lang tayo focus sa uh, hospital care, hospital setting. Ah, setting. <laughs> setting. We also have community health nursing. Kaya nga meron tayong CHN. Meron tayong um, BHW or a BHW no, not BHW. RHU Rural Health um, um, Rural Health uh, RHU, right? Rural, ano ang ibig sabihin ng RHU? Rural Health um, RHU R ah, Rural Health Unit. Oh my God, I was lagging. Yeah, that's Rural Health Unit, which is made up of a nurse and a doctor and a physician and midwives. Because we also cater not just to the hospital, but also to the community, the population in the community, in a certain community. Once again, this is in a brief summarization of Faye Glenn Abdella's theory. Last one for this video, we have Ernestine Weidenbach. Let me say that one more time. Ernestine Weidenbach. This is how she looks like. Diba? Kamukha niya actually si Rosa Rosal. Sorry po, ah, magandang tao si Rosa Rosal. Pero magandang tao rin po si Ernestine. Ano naman to si Ernestine? Ano mga pinagagagawa niya sa nursing? Ano yung mga theory niya na kasalukoy nating ina-apply sa ating profession? We have developed the, uh, she developed the helping art of clinical nursing conceptual model. So, pag nabanggit ang the helping art of clinical nursing, automatically you think about Ernestine Weidenbach. Definition of nursing reflects a nurse midwife experience as people may differ in their concept of a nursing, but few would disagree that nursing is nurturing or caring for someone in a mother uh, motherly fashion. That's according to Ernestine. 
She also said that a guides the nurse action in the art of nursing and specified four elements of clinical nursing. Ano ano yung mga in specify niya na four elements of nursing? Philosophy, purpose, practice, and art. Mababansi mo hindi talaga na wawala yung art sa definition ng nursing. Nursing is an art. Sa mga elements of nursing, my art, my purpose, my practice, my philosophy. That is our core. All right. Last one, uh, according to her, clinical nursing is focused on meeting the patient's perceived need for help in a vision of nursing that indicates considerable importance on the art of nursing. So when you think about the helping art of clinical nursing, you think about Ernestine Weidenbach. Once again, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you guys learned something for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to cover on this channel. Put it down in the comment section below. Tulungan nyo na nga ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira, ang pinakabago, pinakafresh, at ang pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Also, I would like to invite you to please follow me. So all my other social media accounts, everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. Also, I have a Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. I'm posting there, so I would love to reach, uh, to connect with you guys and really build this community. Um, and I'm just so happy and glad that um, parami na tayo ng parami. Like I said, this is not the very first video that we're gonna be doing for the nursing tourists that we have because we have a lot of them. Sila po yung mga taong talaga namang tumulong para ma-reach natin itong body of nursing that we are having right now. So expect more videos to come like this where we're gonna talk about their, the nursing theorists and their theory. All right, so I'll see you again next week. You have a good one.